All right, here we go. We're gonna have some fun now because I don't even have my leather gloves. I don't know where they're at. Will these help? Slightly. After I left that chupacabra house, I did a messed up deal. Whew. You thought that was tall. That wasn't tall. The one I just did was tall. <laughs> Things are out of control around here. It's all out of control. What we're gonna do here is what they asked for. Take the top of it off, get rid of the wildness. Definitely get rid of this funky thing right here, right? That's too much. Just shape it up. Of course, I'll be cutting off a lot of flowers, but hey, they're the boss. I just want some money. Is this the correct way to do it? No, because I've heard you're supposed to cut like um, at the five leaves, I believe. It could be backwards. It might be at the three leaf, because there goes. It always goes five leaf, three leaf, five leaf, three leaf, five leaf. So one of those is the one you're supposed to cut at. But I've never had to do that because everybody just says, hey man, make it round or make it square or do something different. It's all over the place. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna make sure it's not all over the place. So time to trim up the rose bush. Okay, now this is different than actually like pruning a rose bush for growth and flowering. And like I said, that's not what I do. I just, you know, grab the hedge trimmers out and I only tackle these things when they just want it to look more uniform. And rose bushes, they don't grow really thick and full. They sprout out in all different directions. Some, you know, pieces grow longer and sideways and they, so when you do like shape it up, it's not going to look anything like a big bush that you know people would normally have in their landscaping. It'd be like hard to make a rose bush into like a spiral or a really cool like like a ball or something like that. I guess it could be done, but um, it better be a pretty thick and nice one. In my case, this is just your regular scraggly one where the landscaping hasn't had any mulch down in there. The, the backing paper is just all blowing around in the wind half the time. And all I want to do is just look out the back door and kind of see across the top of it evenly so they can look at the neighbor's yard and see how good I cut that too. Because yes, I did cut the neighbor's yard. And I actually have three in a row. I have the yard I'm standing in, the one right behind it, and then the one directly across the street from it. So. This is one of the neighborhoods where I just kind of hang out in all day when I'm done. You know, I roll off to pick up a couple stragglers around town on the way home. Then it's like, wow, Greg, you know, knocked out six yards in this little neighborhood. You know? But I usually, because I have to load up and go around the blocks and stuff, so I usually um, like do like three, go around in a quick trip, get some sweet tea, take a pee, maybe get a sneaky snack, and then come back and hit a couple more, you know? So right now I'm just kind of making it look even, eyeball it, stepping back, and um, the hedge trimmers make you money. They'll make you money. Um, a lot of people don't want to deal with this stuff or can't because you know the rose bushes they have thorns on them. To them it's a big deal. If you wear some leather gloves, you can pick this stuff right up and throw it in a trash can or get rid of it, and it's not a problem. But to just a homeowner, it's a big hassle. But I think the hardest part of trimming any bush for me is not the actual shaping of the bush or any of that because these hedge trimmers just they just go right along all you have to do is just steer them and, but it's the weight of the hedge trimmer although they're not super heavy at first your forearms or maybe your shoulders they'll get tired like right there you're holding it up in the air you know but like there's really no super super hardcore um, work being done here I'm talking in here like, hey, you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of shaping it up. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the sound down on that because it's, it's nonsense. My, my trimmer was running anyway. You couldn't hear me that good.
But that's what it is. Just like the bushes, you just kind of shape them up, you know. If they really wanted something super crazy, they um, they probably shouldn't have hired me to do it, or they wouldn't be asking me anyway. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. You know, you can make yourself 20 bucks by doing this. This would be, this is a good one here. It's $20 trim this mess up because it's roses. you got to get rid of these things, and there are thorns involved and all that. And it's bigger than just one little one little shrub. It's like two rose bushes merged together. Like I said, five bucks for little things, ten bucks each for the big wacky stuff. And that's two wacky things. Here's like a close up of it. I was trying to talk, but you know, you know things go. Oh, actually, uh, the camera cuts off. My battery was dying. But I have to clean up all that stuff, put it in the trash can, and they really need more mulch laid down in there, but they don't even care or think about it. They just wanted it to look nice and uniform. Well, there you go. I haven't even cut one blade of grass today, and I don't think I will, but I did make an attempt. I got all loaded up, dropped Victoria off at school, walked in the daycare with Annabelle, walked out to a downpour. Last week it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a little bit into Monday, which was this week. Whoosh wash out rains. Now the forecast says showers all day Thursday, thunderstorms all day Friday, scattered thunderstorms Saturday. My Friday people are not happy right now. <laughs> I'll be cutting Friday people on Mondays for a while and my Monday people they're kind of screwed Things are goofy, but that's just life. That's the lawn care lifestyle. The weather does play a factor, although I've never had it really, well, I've had it happen like that, but I've never, um, it's never ruined me with the, with the rain, but it, it always, it makes you lose money, lose revenue. And so, um, that's just how it goes. It's kind of unpredictable. You can double up sometimes, but you can't do it all the time. So I'm gonna take advantage of it today. I'm gonna do all my stuff, my banking, my post office, uh, get some groceries and stuff around the house. And I'm also, I have something planned tonight. I am going to a concert. I'm going to go see Rush. And it is with a friend, a long lost friend that I went through grade school on up with. And then he moved away. I made a video about this back in December on this channel. Reconnecting with old friends. And he found me through Facebook, which I had to create a Greg Chisholm Facebook page in order to create a likes page, which you freaks requested. You wanted a likes page for this channel. And so I went ahead and created one. And because of that, I created the Greg Chisholm Facebook page. And then something cool happened. I reconnected with an old friend and we are going to go see his favorite band, which will be an honor to go see Rush with him. And that's the plan. That's the plan. We're gonna have a good evening. I've been to a concert in a few months now, maybe six months. So I'm long overdue. I am a concert junkie. I love music from all eras, all genres, and I'm ready to rock out tonight. So it's happening, all right? Oh, it's happening. I'm not cutting grass. That's not happening.
<laughs> All right, we're leaving Rush. It was badass. Yes, it was. <laughs> Freaks are everywhere. Look at them all. They got kids here too, though. That's a family show. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, we got some more music. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, this street right here is really smooth. I mean, seriously, like um, exceptionally smooth. You'd think the guy that um, was like steamrolling it probably knew what the fuck he was doing. Yeah, yeah. I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I mean, there's no bumps or nothing. No marks. No. no, really, you did a good job, dude. And when you did it, it was insane. You had the, the, the Cardinal car game. Yeah. We had the Cardinal game. We had we had a football game. Minnesota Vikings were here. Wait, do I want to go straight or do I want to go over here? Um, I want to turn. Don't yeah, I? you want to turn. Right? Yeah, oh, wait, no, 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 seventy. That's it. Straight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Man, no, guess, wrong way. That's wrong way. We do gotta go there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They've changed this stuff. Yeah, we have that way. since last time I was here. Oh, where are these cars going? See, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we gotta go that way. But I know we gotta go up and around. Yeah. I know I gotta watch out because um. He's cool. He's letting me. Yeah. That guy just ran a red light. I was gonna run one too. I think I might go. <laughs> uh oh, I got the, I got the green. Did you, yeah. no, did, did you turn this way? Did no, you we, had to, we, had, go the other we way? had to go that way and go back around the building and go down all the way to the Cardinals Stadium. Okay. Hey, at least you didn't have to go down to Cobblestone down here in the landing. They're redoing it. Are they really? Yeah, I every bit of it. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Freaky. Yes, sir. Paving is my life. <laughs> there you go. And mowing is my life. Oh my gosh, what a life. <laughs> yeah.